So I'm here today at Absolute Machine Tools with Mark. Mark, we're standing in front of the River 350 machine. I understand it punches holes. I have no idea how that works. I'm hoping you can help me understand just a little bit better where this would fit into my machine shop. So it's again, uh, an EDM process. So it uses uh, a water dielectric system that's deionized. Uh, okay. We, we uh, load tap water into the machine and then the, it, also, it filters it, and um, it uses a brass or copper electrode that's really a tube. Okay. So it also has a high pressure pump up to 2,000 PSI. It's a lot of pressure. So yeah, well when you have a very small diameter yeah. and a very small hole through that diameter, an ID, it takes a lot of pressure to get the water through there efficiently. So as it starts machining, yeah. um, it will use that high pressure flush to evacuate all the EDM dirt out of the out of the hole as you're as you're going down. You have to remember these machines uh, can uh, drill a one millimeter hole through ten inches thick of tool steel. Uh, how else can you really do that? I mean, we're talking. You said what a one millimeter hole through ten inches of tool steel. Yeah, just as an example. Yeah, that's. Yeah. For anyone out there that's watching that runs conventional machines, right. they know doing that is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, especially since you could do it in a piece of hard material, you know, yeah. 60 Rockwell or <laughs> uh, whatever. I'd like to see your CNC drill that deep through that material, I'm just saying. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll have an opportunity someday. Maybe. <clears throat> but yeah, so the, the River 350 is a full-blown CNC machine. This machine also is available in a ZNC type machine. Okay. So instead of having servo motors, we just pr uh, program the Z axis to burn the hole, whatever depth or through the part. Yeah. Uh, and then we manually crank it using our readout. Um, all of these cutting conditions can be automatically selected by describing what diameter electrode you have. Um, Okay. Uh, what your material is, and it will automatically load all these. Then, if you need to make a change as you are machining, you can just go ahead and use the, uh, the, the buttons to change it, and when you're done, you can click save it, and it will yeah. save those uh, conditions for the next hole. So if you make modifications on the fly while yeah. you're machining. So if you're changing material groups, anything like that, you can just have pre-saved settings to make it simpler for the next one, for the next diameter, whatever that's changing. Correct. That's fantastic. So this machine is actually our smallest model, the 350 or the 35. Okay. So there's also a River 600, yeah. there's an 800, and there's a 1000. So these drills can get quite large. So <clears throat> the, the applications for these machines are, uh, you know, a lot of wire EDM companies will use these machines to drill their start holes okay. for, for, the, for the wire to thread through uh, while they're, uh, before they start cutting. Okay. So I can actually take a wire EDM program, load it into this machine through the USB port, yep. and it will automatically find all of the thread locations and go around and drill all those holes. But, uh, automatically. So you mean I don't have to pull it up in separate software, I don't have to do all this extra processing, I can just put my file into the control. Correct. It's going to know and then I can use that same file on my wire EDM as well. Exactly. And just keep working through with the same file so I don't have to worry about revisions, I don't have to worry about print changes because I'm using the same file all the way through. Yeah, it makes it a lot more reliable that you didn't actually dial to the wrong number and when you go to thread it, it's, there's no hole there. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, it, it kind of eliminates that uh, situation. And these machines, uh, the, the CNC machines, can go up to uh, eight axes. So you have X, Y, Z, for drilling, yeah. positioning and drilling. And then you have a W axis also for positioning for different height work pieces and also yeah. for the tool, the electro changer. So oh, wow. it has an automatic electro changer. So it will actually position up and uh, uh, go ahead and, and change the electrode. It also is available with a, uh, uh, an electrode support. So if I have a, a 0.7 millimeter electrode that's 12 or 13 inches long, 
uh, and you start spinning it at 200 RPM, mm -hmm. uh, it can get some vibration. So the, uh, the uh, electrode support makes it a much smoother uh, operation, so it eliminates any vibration. Okay, and then that support would just hold it as the top as the top head comes feeds down, keeping everything nice, stable, and rigid to get to those amazing, you know, 10-inch depths through the material. Correct, and this will automatically detect when the when the uh, chuck is approaching the uh, support, and it will automatically move out of the way because now you have a much shorter electrode, so there's less chance of vibration. Okay, so we do use. Um, uh, stainless steel keyless chucks that yep. go from 0.3 up to 3.0 millimeter. So 12 thou up to 118. Yep. And it will, um, you won't have to buy different holders for all those different sizes. Yeah, you can. So it's quite cost effective. Truck. Yeah, you can just adjust instead of, and do you get any bigger than the three mil? Then? Right, so there is a, uh, an option Okay. Uh, to go up to six millimeter. Yeah. But when we do that, we actually go to a collet system instead of the keyless chucks. So that would be more changing your collets then for each size of exactly. wire. But it would allow you to get some. So those bigger holes, can they get extra depth or is it all the same depth that you can get with this? <clears throat> well, uh, you know, the maximum uh, workpiece height on this machine is 12 inches. Okay. Uh, when you go into the larger electrodes, we, we have an upgraded power supply for higher amperage. Uh, but a lot of times, especially nowadays, uh, with the kind of tooling that you can buy, there aren't a lot of, of people that want to drill a six millimeter hole in a piece of steel, you know. Uh, but where the applications for those things are is if you have very thin material or okay. you're trying to drill into a tube say for example. So if you have a thin wall tube yeah. and you want to put a six millimeter hole in it, there's a really good chance you're going to deform that tube. Right, whereas with the wire now, we don't have to worry about all the extra cutting forces, exactly. all the extra damage that a drill would do as it's entering and exiting the material multiple times. Correct. You can just punch it in, get a perfect size off the hop in the right location. Correct. That's absolutely fantastic. It yeah. sounds like like being able to punch these holes into these depths to these hardnesses of materials is such a great solution to have on machine chop floors. Right. They're also uh, very common uh, and quite necessary in the aerospace industry for mm -hmm. uh, putting vent holes in uh, blades and veins and things like that. And also the medical industry is using these machines quite frequently for making devices or implants. Yeah, so I know the aerospace and medical are, are more standard fare. What, have you been surprised by any other shops reaching out in the last few years, looking to get more into the EDM? Yeah, we've had, uh, we've had more exotic materials okay. where people are trying to do things manually. And as, as the workforce, as we all know, has been diminished over the last few years. Unfortunately. It's starting to come back. But, uh, you know, we have a lot of people that were currently doing things manually, but realize if they're going to keep up with production, they're going to need to go to a more automated process. And so those people are contacting us to uh, supply machines for those kinds of applications. And the people that are reaching out are really smart because that's the way that they're going to get their company back and keep their products going through, continuing to support all of America as we all work to reshore more work here. Right. Awesome. Thank Absolutely. you, Mark. Thank you. Pleasure.